final stage of the four days of Dunkirk, which is actually six days. But anyway, ignore that. Four and a half K to go. We got a group off the front with about 12 seconds to go. Couldn't find all the footage, unfortunately. This race has been pretty well televised, but I just couldn't seem to find it. Anyway, 4.4K to go. Dimitri Kleiss uh, is in the leader's jersey. He is about three or four seconds on Andre Greipel, uh, and he managed bas basically so he needs the bonus seconds Greipel to win. Unfortunately for young Greipel, or old Greipel, there's this group off the front. You can see the gap very, very thin. A bit of a crosswind here for coming from the right-hand side of the picture. You can see Delco Marseille, and now we've got FDJ in Le Jacques. We also have a uh, wanted group go bear rider. Um, and then you see behind, it's absolutely strung out. Lodo Sudal are doing everything because if Greipel, Greipel will beat Dimitri Kleis in a sprint. So all they have to do is basically get Greipel top through top two, I think it is, just because of the time differences. Or maybe even top three because it's not that far the difference between them. And Andre Greipel, big Andre, would get it. Um, so you can see here, it's completely strung out behind. Ahead, they're just working so hard. I don't know how the split happened. I couldn't really find any information. Sorry about that. But it has happened. 3.6k to go. They're going along the north northern coast of France, along some sort of boulevard or something. Looks very odd. A lot of are now pulled back because they just don't seem to have the men. Everyone else is chasing. Not really concerted, but they're pretty close. Like, if these guys mess around, I mean, in a sprint, they'll, they'll be able to get past. But you can see here, we've got the Delco Marseille. Everyone's swapping solid turns, very short turns, about 30 seconds. Casper Pedersen, I, I believe, is in there for uh, Aqua Blue Sport, doing some turns. Uh, FD, sorry, Eje des Heures, La Mondiale, are in there with Genius, I think that potentially is, or Cyril Gauthier, one of them two. Uh, and he's absolutely flying on the front, really doing some solid turns. That was a long time from the young man. Because there's so many of them, they can just do some real strong turns. There's probably 500 watts on the front, maybe a bit more. Like they, These are some real fast turns. You can see here, there's Dimitri Kleis in the pink leader's jersey. Uh, I mean, I guess he's going to probably try and sprint, but there's not much chance. You can see Varane's classic Aquas Protect squad are moving up in the yellow and blue. We've also got uh, a bit of Rompot action in the middle. They're trying to move up on the inside. We've got Lotus Sudal moving up on the left-hand side of the road uh, for Andre Greipel, who's obviously trying to get a good sprint. You can now see Wanted Group Gobert moving up into the second wheel as well. They're railing these corners. This really is a very technical, well, it's pretty technical finish, but luckily um, everyone's pretty strung out, so it's not actually going to be too dangerous, which is good. Um, the finish just has some sharp right-handers here or there, but nothing absolutely nuts. So you can see here that the pack is just getting pretty disorganized, uh, the peloton really. It's just just strung out and like the closing gaps. It's just no team seems to really like organized well. Uh, it's just really a, whoever seems to have a couple of blokes is like, oh, we got three blokes, chuck someone to the front. That's, that pretty much seems what, what's going on here. So if we count the gap, it's about oh, 10 to 15 seconds, I think. So it's it's close. It's, it's possible to get get it if these guys mess around. Rube Lille Metropole rider again goes to the front, just drilling it as hard as he can. Pretty wide handlebars, the young man. He could definitely get some 40s on there, so like 44s or 42s he's got on there. Uh, direct energy again come to the front. That was a bit of a shorter turn. Casper Pedersen, the good man himself, with his golden aqua blue helmet, is just trying to do some shorter turns. Some, you can tell some of these riders are real strong uh, and pulling some good good solid turns. Like this Adjie Dizur La Mondiale rider is fucking pulling some real good turns. Everyone else is doing like 10, 15 seconds. He's pulling some good 30 second turns. <laughs> so, solid bloke. But sometimes, I mean, you don't want someone to pull 30 seconds turns because they just end up fading. But I feel like he's actually really just stringing it out. Lotus Sedal finally get. They got three guys in this group, so they're really trying to string it out. But again, here, like, Lotus Sedal are like, well, we don't really want to get into second wheel, but then he does. Anyway, Direct Energy now move up. I believe they're probably going to try and disrupt this chase because they've got someone up the road. It's hard to tell exactly who everyone wants to win. Obviously, some coffees don't want to do any chasing here at all because they just don't want gripe. Or I guess FDJ probably don't want to ch chase really. They think they've probably got a good chance of winning this. Maybe some other guys have. But it's always like in this, it's so hard to tell who's going to win the sprint. Like, there's not one big name favorite here who's going to, like, obviously sprint. Like, if Greipel was in here, then obviously a lot of teams would be trying to break back because they don't want Greipel to win the sprint. But here you can see Lejac has goes. He's got a bit of a gap, and he's like, all right, boys, let's go. Uh, and everyone else is like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and seems a bit, like, a bit sort of worried about if they actually want to do it. But you can see the speed here just, it's strung out, but it's just not 100% full gas. So again, Big as you do, Le Mondial ride is like, right, I'm pulling you back, Le Jacques, and Le Jacques like, no chance, lads. Um, he's absolutely flying off. Uh, we now seem to go flying away because we're getting into the final of the sprint, uh, which ends up being pretty straight. Anyway, right, we get a helicopter shot. How long has he got? He's got about three seconds, of, according to my calculations now. Um, 
and Ajid as well, Amonia. He needs to flick his elbow and just be like, oh, boy, someone else chase. Because he's just, I mean, if he hasn't closed that gap straight away, you can just tell his power's probably decreasing. And Lejac is just flying away now. Oliver Lejac, one winner of six stages. Uh, so, yeah, he's a good lad. You can see he's really rocking all over the bike, doing a big downstroke. He's just flying along. I love that. Arms out, like classic French bloke. You can see Casper Pedersen's now driving it back. He's really trying to get it. Like, he's gone for a long sprint. That's probably two, three hundred meters out. Anyway, you can see Lejac's now like, oh, God, they've caught me. But Lejac has enough in the bag. What a good bloke. And managed to get it just at the end. The same time, apparently. Same time. Uh, three hours, 50, 51 seconds. Uh, and, yeah, there we go. Lejac does that. And Andre Greifel gets the sprint in for, like, the, I think I think Funia might have got it on the line. But... Basically, that's it. Jeffrey Soup there. Coffin is well done. Got a stage win with old Buhani and won the overall with Dimitri Kles. So cheers for watching. Uh, that's been the end of the four days of Dunkirk, which is six days. Uh, I've got some videos out. On, there's a playlist on it, so I'll make sure, make sure to watch all those videos. Great race in northern France. Good tune-up. Some people do California for the sprints. Greifel just has four days of Dunkirk. This is a good bloke. Anyway, cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next vid. Yeah, sort of, fire.